Hey, I got an oil spill right there on my driveway. That happened probably maybe two, three weeks ago on this uh this Tahoe. I went and got it fixed. I also had a um this tire kept going flat. So I went and got a new tire and found out that found out that I needed an alignment. So I had to get an alignment and I had to end up buying uh, two new tires on the front. And that was, I believe that was like, what did I get done? What did I get fixed first? I got the tires fixed first. And I had a check engine light that came on that saying I had some bad spark plugs. So that matter of fact, that's actually how I found out about the oil leak. Cause the guy that was fixing my spark plugs he had it at his house and he was he didn't fix it the same day he fixed it like two days later so he found out it was leaking oil so uh but it was it was actually what happened was it wasn't a problem like he thought he thought it was he i think he said it was the it was leaking from the from somewhere and but come to find out, last time I got the oil changed, they didn't tighten up the um, they didn't tighten up the oil filter. So that was he ended up changing the oil again and changed the fuel filter, not the fuel filter, but the oil filter, and uh, that's what it was. Hey, I'm not very mechanically inclined. I, I, a lot of people might can work on these Tahoes or whatever but me I always find somebody to work on it but hey I want to I want to thank y'all man because I just hit I just hit uh 6,000 subscribers on YouTube just last night so I want to thank y'all but ever since I've been you know I took a little break from YouTube and so now now that uh I'm back on YouTube I also got a new computer I got a MacBook so now I've been keeping up with the analytics you know trying to grow my channel but the reason i'm telling y'all this is because i've been getting a lot of offers from like sponsors if y'all know trucker path is one of my one of my sponsors i've been using working with them for a long time but i've been getting a lot of different offers for sponsorships so i got this sponsorship this this lady messaged me so this lady messaged me the other day and she was telling me about this uh obd2 adapter it's bluetooth it's a uh, engine scanner tool and and she wrote me before all these problems started happening with my tahoe so i just got it i just got it the other day when i was on the road and i got the instructions right here i'm gonna tell y'all all about this ansel bd200 but uh Every time I have a check engine light, you know, I always go to AutoZone or somewhere to get them to uh, to scan my vehicle, see what's going on. But let me show y'all this thing, man. That's, that's it right there. A little small piece. It's not as big as the ones you see at AutoZone, but it's Bluetooth, though. So the problem I got going on with my Tahoe now, I was driving it on Christmas Day. I was going to I was going to the store. Actually, I was going to throw some boxes away. Cause I had a bunch of boxes, but I didn't want to throw them in my trash can because you know they don't the trash don't run, so they would just be sitting on the curve. So I was going to throw the boxes in a dumpster. So I stopped at the I stopped at a gas station, running there and got something, and then when I got ready to leave the gas station, I came out and I put my truck in reverse. It wouldn't back up so i'm and it's been driving funny ever since i got the spark plugs changed the check engine light went off it did it's like it's been driving funny it's like it's been skipping and jumping and i really didn't know what was going on with it but when i was leaving that gas station that day i put it in reverse it wouldn't move i was like what the hell so then i put it in drive and i started driving it started moving but it wasn't picking no speed up so i was like man it's transmission I knew it was a transmission. I had the same problem with my Cadillac back in, uh, I want to say back in 2014 or 15, when I had my Cadillac, I was driving it and it wouldn't go past like 40 miles an hour. 
and that that messed up right after i got the timing belt fixed and that was like a three thousand dollar job on that cadillac so then like a couple weeks later transmission started acting up so that's why i ended up getting rid of it now this tahoe i've had this tahoe for a while and it's been paid off for a while so i've been keeping up the maintenance on it you know every time something happens i, I get get it fixed but now that i found out this transmission is messed up that's it i'm done with this tahoe so for this for this video i'm gonna show y'all this thing i just got i've already tested it already and just it came back with the codes that is the transmission but let's hey but i gotta do this video for my sponsor because they, they asked for the video they need a 10 minute video so here we go really self-explanatory you just plug it up that's all you do works on any vehicle so there's a little piece right there we're just gonna plug it up as you see it already has power it's lighting up blue it already has power so I got the little instruction manual. This is English at the top. I'm not sure what this DE is. I don't know, is that Dutch? Not sure. Then I know FR is French. So DE, I'm assuming it's Dutch. Not sure. Maybe y'all know, but it's really, this is, this is all the English from this one, all the way to that one and to that one. Hey, I barely looked at the instructions. I scanned the QR code for iPhone. We got one for iPhone, one for Android. Turn the ignition on, but engine off. Hey, real self-explanatory. So anybody can use this thing, man. Anybody can use it. And the Bluetooth, it connected automatically. I didn't have to, I didn't even have to pair it. It connected automatically to the app. Once I downloaded that app, it connected automatically. So look, we got it plugged up. Let me get the key. I'm gonna close the door. I'm gonna close the door because you know with that door open, with that door open, it's gonna keep dinging. Okay. En ignition on, engine off. Here's my phone. We're gonna open up the app. But we're gonna we're gonna go through all the steps of re-downloading the app, even though I already got it, just so I can show y'all how easy it is. Camera. There's the camera. Go scan the QR code. View an app store, which I already have. We're going to open the app, scan it for devices. It's already connected, connected successfully. We're going to go to diagnostics. Communicating with vehicle, please wait. ECU, we already got that. <sighs> Communicating with vehicle, please wait. Okay, communication established successfully. Let's go to dashboard. That's the RPMs. We don't really need to know that. Vehicle self-check. Here we go. We're going to click the button, start self-test. Diagnose in progress, please wait. That's already showing trouble codes already. It's showing two. Two trouble codes. This doesn't take long. This takes about maybe five minutes, if that. Come on, come on. Diagnose in progress. Now look, we're gonna show we're gonna see how easy it is, man. It's gonna pop the codes up and it's gonna show you the codes. And if you don't know anything about cars, you know, you're not gonna know what those codes mean. But when we when we click on these codes, it's already going to have the Google search right there. So all you got to do is Google it. It's finished. So let's let's click on trouble codes. 
Transmission Control System P0700. It's giving me two of the same codes. So I'm going to click on the code P0700. Now check out this screen right here. Transmission Control System. Shortened or open circuit within transmission control module. Faulty transmission control module. Hey, now that tells me right there, man. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's not the whole, maybe I don't need the transmission. Maybe I just need a module. I'm not sure. So I'm going to click on the Google search. So, okay. What the PO700 code means, PO700 is set when the PCM detects a malfunction in the traction control system. This malf malfunction causes the vehicle to set a check engine light and trigger a fail-safe mode. Once the fail-safe mode is set, it will remain until the fault is repaired or normal operation is detected. Now look, I already looked at it, so I'm going to click on this. It's PO700 series. Severe. The vehicle should avoid being driven when presented with the trouble code. It could get caught in one gear and cause not only a safety hazard for you, but for those around you as well. Look, that's exactly what happened to me. I couldn't. It got stuck in one gear and I couldn't go no faster. Now, I also clicked on how much does it cost for a transmission control system. It says the replacement cost of the transmission control module will be anywhere from 500 to 900 maybe it's not the transmission maybe it's not maybe maybe it's just the module maybe it's just the transmission but on this next link that i caught that i clicked on so replacing the, the module could be 840 to 900 dollars or fix and replace the transmission which could be 1800 to 4500 now check this out i can afford to pay that nine hundred dollars or whatever it is I, I could afford to pay to, to get the transmission fixed but at this point with me having this this tahoe I'm, I'm done with it i'm done with it but uh hey that ain't the point of this video the point of this video is to show y'all this ob2 adapter that works pretty good off bluetooth hey so you know if y'all man i think it's like a hundred dollars not for sure so, hey, just keep it in mind if you ever want to buy an engine scanner too. Now, I'm about to go back in the house and watch some football and work on this video. So, yeah, my Tahoe is no more. <laughs> my Tahoe is no more. I'm done with this Tahoe, man. Hey, it's, it served its life. I got all I could get out of it. This thing has, let's, let's check the mileage, 254,868 miles. That's it for the Tahoe. And you know what? I just got that GMC. Like, I got it in October. I just got that GMC in October. And they asked me if I had a, a vehicle to trade in. And I told them no. I didn't want to trade. I didn't want to trade in my Tahoe. <laughs> I should have traded it in. I, at least I could have got something out of the deal. But now I got to take a loss. I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell this Tahoe. I'm not going to get it fixed. So, But I'm also not just going, you know, I ain't about to sell it for no $500. I'm going to just let it sit right here in the damn driveway until I get rid of it. Just got the new tires on it. Just got it to line. Hey, so it is what it is, man. Flatbed game. Hey, the reason I got that white truck is because I am big snow. And that's little snow. But anyway, thanks for watching. Let me go cry about my transmission being broke. <laughs> Flatbed gang.